What's going on guys? It's Aqua Leader Jesse back again with Star Wars Battlefront 2. Um, last time we took over Dagobah pretty easily. Um, today we're going to be going after Mustafar. Um, unless the unless they decide to come back over here. So I'm not going to buy anything yet. I'm going to move over here see where they move. See if they move back to Mustafar to defend it. If we're going to be doing a space battle. Or if they will keep moving toward Hoth up there. They're moving back Okay. So, actually, looks like we'll be go doing our first ever space battle. So, I am going to purchase the Clone Marine, which is extremely helpful for space battles. The Clone Marine is a necessity for winning space battles, especially in multiplayer. For me, if I'm playing against somebody, Clone Marine is a necessity. I kind of wish I could also get the supplies bonus, but I, I don't have the credits for it right now. But it'll be fine. Um... I doubt the the enemy fleet will have the skill necessary to beat me in space battle. Not to brag or anything, but I feel like I'm pretty good at space battles. Oh crap! <laughs> Think of being so good at them, I just picked the wrong troop. Um, excuse me. I'm meant to be the marine. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna take the light gunship. Um, or the whatever you call it. And I take this on the way over. I used to always take the fastest ship, but this ship is very hard to shoot down. Um, so the goal here in space battles, instead of um, taking out the troops, as you'll notice that there's a, there's a, almost like a, there's a fraction up in the corner for each one. There's a number out of 180. It's this, this, um, type of battle is based on points as opposed to um, as opposed to just kills um, you can earn points you earn a point for every troop you destroy you can earn points for destroying ships and whatnot um, you also earn points for destroying part of the enemy fleet you'll notice I am flying directly into their cruiser um, that is what I always tend to do in space battles It is the best way to start things off. So I can actually take out certain parts of their ship from the inside. And earn a ton of points for it. Like for example, the auto defense mainframe here. And these auto turrets. I'm going to go ahead and take out before they take me out. I have a hard time seeing them. They blend in so well. So this will disable the auto turrets on the exterior of the ship. Which is insanely helpful. So now we're going to go after their shields. So that way, pieces on the exterior of their ship may start to be worked on as well. supplies bonus and make this easier as a uh, with this we won't be able to totally destroy the shields in one ammo run I'll have to go back and get some more ammunition from the ammo droid um, it's not quite enough but if I had the supplies bonus I'd be able to carry more ammo at once I'd have been able to make it one trip in multiplayer it's extremely helpful because it's more of a race to destroy everything on the ship against my opponent as possible up bro okay so you want to max out the point meter you earn points for doing different things if you haven't noticed the two diagrams in the corner of the or you know those are ships there are carriers um, the different triangles on them are for the different pieces you can destroy um, the shields and the auto defense mainframe don't really count because auto defense mainframe is primarily for disabling turrets, so it's actually have a gameplay aspect. And the shields is for opening up the other things to be destroyed. Um, there are still some more things to destroy here on the interior of the ship. Excuse me. Starting with the engine cooling tanks over here. There's an auto turret here in the corner, though. We got to worry about. Why aren't you dying? 
Oh, that's right. There's a weird hitbox there on that corner I always forget about. The regular trooper um, does not have this rocket launcher. They just have three time bombs. It makes everything take way longer. Because not only are there only three bombs, but they take so long to detonate. Oh, crap. I didn't even... Wait, there's an alternate turret over there, too, for them, I guess. It varies when you, um, each time you play where the auto turrets are in that room, but I guess they got lucky enough to have them in both. Uh, both parts of that room. Uh, there's... Oh, well, I was gonna go take one of those ships since the big ship isn't there, but I guess I'll take the V-Wing. That'll be fine. Also, for destroying these extra ships out here, like this Banking Clan comm ship here, um... Those also earn you points. As you can see, we're, we're winning right now. Um, not by a ton, but... Winning is winning, you know. Partially the auto turrets on the... On the... On this ship still work. On that ship. But these ones do not. Oh, come on. Yeah! Just edged it out there. Destroy that, get some advance progress done here. Oh, someone repaired the auto turrets. You can repair the auto turrets. You can repair the shields, even. Um, if that, that only the other trooper can do. But I never really bother. I'm more focused on... By the time they're, they're really just wasting time repairing them. Um... So these cooling tanks are almost taken care of. Their engines have been destroyed. Okay. So you'll notice that the black triangle at the bottom of their diagram went black. So they destroyed the tank the engines by blowing up their cooling tanks. I'm just gonna refill my ammo. Heal up a bit. I don't need a ton because I really only need to destroy one more thing here, which is the life support systems. Ah, got the auto turret. I, I didn't even realize they had one sitting there. They got really lucky with their auto turret placement today. But as you notice, we're winning by a bit more of a significant margin. We're up by 40 now instead of 30. And after the life support systems, it'll jump up again. We are now up by 80 almost. So that just leaves a couple things on the outside left, and then we should be good. It should be game. Right. Um, I'll go with the Tri Fighter. I'll try it. I'll try that one out. I'm gonna steal one of their ships. thing is not very powerful. I don't really like the droid ships that much. Um, I haven't gotten to their bridge yet, but it's okay. We're still ahead by 47 points. Um, I'm gonna take this V-Wing. Don't you dare take it. Don't you dare take it. This thing is almost dead. We need to hurry up and destroy that. There we go. Now we're, we're, we're almost out on their points. We probably won't even get to destroy everything. Just because we're going to run out of points too fast. And we're going to get all of our points too fast. Our troops have been destroying them droid ships good. And there we go. We didn't even have to just We didn't get the communications array, the sensor relay, or the command bridge. But we didn't need to. That was a pretty darn fast battle. So next, um, after this, 
it's going to be time for ground battle since we took out their fleet. Um, so I got Dead Eye, and that's it. I don't really get a lot of rewards in the space battles because I don't do a lot of killing. I primarily am inside the ship destroying stuff and destroying the parts of the ship. Um, so I don't get a ton of awards while doing space battles, even though I have by far the most points. I got 94 of our points. 94 out of the 180. Over half of the score was just me. Um, so I do really well. I just don't any, get any awards for it, unfortunately. The Republic has received credits for destroying the enemy fleet. So we got some credits for destroying their fleet there. I'm going to save myself here. We got a total of 300 credits. But, as you'll see in the next video, it's not over yet. We still have to take over Mustafar. So, I'm very excited, also nervous, because I don't have a leader bonus or bonus of any sort, or any sort of new troops that can be used on ground battle. That marine is only used in space battles. So, hopefully, we're just better than they are in, at just about everything. So, with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll catch all of you guys in the next video.